Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne Ultra Mod. We are going to play as our eyes today and we have a good few things to go out here. Uh, do we have any other skins? Damn, we don't. Um, hmm. We've got, it doesn't exactly say what the weapon is here, but we've got some sort of SMG thing here. But I like the idea of going with that because that's going to be pretty awesome. So let's jump in with it. I think anything crossbow related early just makes me smile. And it's not a crossbow. It's uh, <laughs> it's literally not a crossbow at all. Didn't actually mean to go in there. So that's this is going to be a little hard to start. But this is pretty good. Did, what, what, the, what the hell happened there? How come the police went straight through me? But yeah, this is also very nice because we are going to be dealing mucho lots of damage. Um, yeah, I, I thought it was the, uh, the splinter crossbow, the jawbreaker. Turns out it's obviously not. So a little bit... Uh, Stupid of me there. Oh god, these guys take two shots. Okay. Be prepared for that. And by the way, I'm, I'm just holding down the uh, the good old suck job um, power so that I can um, tail shots around me. It does help with moving shots away. And also just dragging things towards you is kind of nice. Um, let's take back muscle early and then... Will eagle eyes be any good with this? I'm going to try. I don't think it'll do anything. Because I think it's a set pattern. No, it does actually put them both in one place. Okay, this makes this weapon significantly better, actually. Because now it's a lot, lot easier to hit both shots on a single target. Which is uh, sort of the main problem we had before with this gun. It was just not quite hitting as much as I wanted it to. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I've made many, many a mistake. That health was very necessary, thank you. God, I kind of forgot about the purple dudes firing their purple shots at me. Scared the bejeebus out of me. Okay, nice. I just love the fact that the enemies are like slowly making their way towards us. Ammo chest. I kind of like, like the fact that you can move chests and stuff as well. I wouldn't have expected that when I first played this character, but it is rather nice. I also do like the noise that it makes when you're using your telekinesis. Just like that slow murmuring sort of sound it makes. I know, dragging these dogs towards us is a bit scary. They move at ridiculous speed when I drag them towards us. Back muscles seem to be a good idea. Um, I think scary face is going to be good too here. Make this weapon just last us a little bit longer, which I think is going to be amazing. Oh my god. You see what I mean? It just drags them towards us at insane speeds when we use telekinesis. It's really scary. Big Vulture's already in the his out. That was close. That's a one hit kill. Why? <laughs> That was upsetting. I didn't realize that. Like, I, I kind of knew I was going to get hit there. In fact, I kind of was hoping to take the hit on the head to get out of the way of the explosive shots because I thought they'd deal more damage. No, turns out that attack is literally a one-shot kill. So, not, not great on that front. I guess we keep going, though. We hope for the best. We've still got a good start here. We're, still, we're early days. We're early days. Uh, pop gun is not something I really need. I've, I've got the crossbow just in case we get the... Uh, Elusive Bolt Marrow. I think that would be a very nice pickup. Yeah, I'm quite liking the telekinesis here. Hello, Mr. Scorpione. I got you. Going on through. Um, I think Bloodlust is pretty good here. Not really much else there that I really want. Oh, I accidentally hit an enemy like really far away then. These shots travel pretty far. So I'm, I'm, I'm actually really tempted to take a shotgun shoulder if I see one. I don't often like shotgun shoulders, but I think with this current setup, it would actually behoove us to take it, because I think it could be very, very strong. Nice. Missed out on assault rifle there, but I'm kind of okay with that. So we'll see if we see shot shotgun so shoulders. We might not. Um, more speed, walk on all terrains, close dodges, sometimes drop items. Let's give that a go. Why not? I've not really played around that with, with that before. And more speed does seem useful. Try and use the crossbow a little bit here just to get some insta-kills on some far away enemies. Dude, this rat has the dodging skills of a ninja. I'm actually going to leave that there for now. I'll come back for that. I do want to go to the, uh, the negative. You were you know, a bit of a naughty fella. Portal up and over there, that's cool. Right, let's go over to this one. Like some shotgun shells, thank you. Bloodlust was definitely a good idea. It's helping a lot. Is this negative sewers? 
It is, right? Yes, it is. There's our weapon mod. I don't know what the rats are doing here, so I'm a little bit scared of that. Um, lightning. Let's grab lightning on that. Sounds fun. I love the music in these areas. Ooh, yeah, lightning's really spicy. Okay, I wasn't particularly ready for the shotgun dudes, I'll admit. Yeah, he already hit me. Dude, these pretty rats. Move out my bloody way. What in the hell is that? What the fuck? Holy shit, I'm so dead. What the hell is that? Such a ridiculous attack. Oh, that's where all you are coming from. See now. Flared gun. Fucking hell, that guy has a crazy weapon right there. Stronger telekinesis. Damaguts could be pretty good. Power uh, power craving could be interesting. Let's go with the, the, the stronger telekinesis. I've never actually tried that on this character. It might be super valuable. It might be really bad. Oh, wait, what? I was wondering why the music changed. Makes sense now. I wasn't expecting to be here, I'll be honest. Golden Slugger. What's this? Sacrifice weapon mods. I mean, I'll give it a go. I'm pretty confused. Go with Rage. Mushroom Land. Oh, are we here? Oh, I found out about some new pathing here. Um, we didn't sacrifice. We didn't sacrifice our current weapon mods, so that makes me think we've sacrificed future weapon mods, which is scary. Those enemies explode on death. That is something that I did not know. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, I accidentally bloody pressed the wrong button. Alright, so for one, I don't think I should have been holding my telekinesis there. I'm actually under the influence now that um, stronger telekinesis isn't very good. I don't know why you'd want that. That just seems to make things awful in every way. We found three jawbreakers so far. Three. From there, you... Dude, you need to stop right now. That was so annoying. I had to fight out that guy so many times. Give me shotgun shoulders. I'm going to take Eagle Eyes, though. Eagle Eyes works really well with this weapon, so... I'm going to take it. I'm double shotgunned up here, so I can only get shotgun ammo. What the hell? Why is there so many maggots around here? What's going on with all this? Crazy. The bandit's here too, he's joining the crew. Just dragging this bouncer of all the to me slowly but surely. Hey, Morpho rifle seems pretty good. I can get behind that. Still no shotgun shoulders. Big sad. Um, let's go with Rage. And let's go with... Bloodlust. That's fine. Stay away from me, rats. Rage increasing our fire rate with a shotgun should prove to be very, very useful. I think it'll be quite good. Oh, by the way, just in case you guys want to know, I apologise that there wasn't an episode yesterday. There was supposed to be, but I had some other stuff come up and I couldn't uh, record it. I really apologise for that. I'll try to avoid it happening regularly. Most times I do plan around my recording sessions, but this time, unfortunately, some stuff came up and I couldn't. I don't know how much stuff I've missed here. Also a crossbow. I will most certainly take that and be very happy about it.
Oh, ha, ha, beautiful. Autocrafter with rage as well. That's that's even better. My lord. Oh shit, assassins. Oh god, I backed myself into a horrible little corner here. I'm surprised I have not died. That all went to shit for a moment there. Do you know what? Just get in here. <laughs> Take the easy way out. And I don't mean kill yourself. <laughs> I love the way I like growls like a grumpy cat. Here we go. Bigger explosions. I kind of I kind of do want to see some of these. No health drops at the end of each area. Resets HP to max if you already have max HP. Overheal by two. I'm gonna try it. It sounds very risky. I'm intrigued by it. I must certainly say that. Oh god, this is bad. There's so many cars, and there's so many missiles being launched at us. Dude, what is this? Oh, across was better, apparently, according to the game. We gotta go. You're dead, good. My lord, that was a bit scary. What the hell's over here? What's left? There's more to this bit? Okay, that makes more sense. So now we're going to overheal by two. Bubbler. Or a max ammo, anyway. Sort of oh, god. For some reason, I did not notice those enemies at all. I wasn't paying attention, I'll be honest. Dude! There's like a generator in front of him. Ooh, wait. Because we have Bloodlust, this is actually a pretty good setup we got going on right here, you know? I did not think about the fact we had Bloodlust. We might get to overheal more often than I was expecting to. This is actually pretty saucy. If we can get some more ways of healing outside of health kits, it would be quite nice. What the hell's this? Hyper Bouncer Rifle. Um, I think this thing's run its course. Nice. And we get to overheal here. Um, first hit you take in an area while be below max HP heals you instead. Let's go with that instead. What the hell hit me? Oh, there's a police dude. Did not see you. Is this... How is this dude not dead yet? Okay, he is. Good. That was cr kind of crazy. He didn't die so qu uh, that quickly then. Took like all of my ammo. We got the next fellas. Oh god. For some reason I also wasn't ready for that. This this hyper bouncer. I like it. I like it. I gotta say, I, I like bounce weapons in general. A hyper bouncer is my sort of jam. And we're gonna overheal again here. Um Do you know what? Glass Arm Cannon is actually really good in this instance here. Because if we can overheal and get to max HP easily, we don't need high maximum HP as a base. Wasn't mean to go through here, but we are now. So now we're up to 13 HP. This could get kind of wacky. Um... So this is new. Oh, they're just visual. Wait. They're enemies. Okay. I was like, 
they could be enemies. Whoa. That thing very nearly killed me. Uh, flame. Shotgun. Good flame. That was close. I very nearly died. Stick with this crown. I like this crown, actually. I think this crown's cool. Oh shit, it's the boy. Okay, we got him. Pretty quick kill on your boy. I knew there was another bloody police dude over here. Now we're at 10. Didn't see you there, spider boy. Kind of a little bit tricky here. Got a lot of enemies shooting through walls. Unfortunately, Bloodless isn't letting us overheal even more. That'd be pretty awesome if it was. Good. Love Bubbler. Don't wonder how good that is. The last enemies down this way. This is actually going super well. I'm really, I'm really happy with this build we've managed to. It for ourselves. I might have to take this crown more often. It's a fun little alternate play style. You have to have kind of have the prerequisites like bloodlust though. Um Power Craving's actually kind of good. We're probably gonna swap out these weapons soon-ish. So they're gonna get a little weak. Yeah, now we're at 12 out of 6. Basically, every stage that we can do without getting hit is a huge bonus to us. Go Shovel is great, but unfortunately it's cursed. Dude, that was rude. I never really know how to dodge this guy. It's always kind of a guessing game. Or do what I just did there and just try and kill him really quickly. It doesn't really matter how much damage this thing does. Oh god, I got hit. I got hit again. Don't worry, we're still overhealed. Damn it, we're still overhealed. We're still o oh, we're not so overhealed anymore. God damn it. Got hit so many times in a row there. But had we not been overhealed, we'd be dead. Even at 8 HP, so I think all in all, went pretty well. I think Scarier Face is pretty good here. a lot of fellas very quickly. I think I managed to get through it. Just about. Oh, wave. Whoa! What the hell hit me then? Dude, how are you not hitting this? Crown Vault. I don't know if it actually takes the Crown Vault here. It did. I went here because I get extra max HP for going here. Morph or Swarm? I think we go with... Let's go with this and do Swarm. Careful for these new enemies. Okay. It did, it telefragged me. I didn't realize they could do that. Anyways, um, I think we're going to leave it here. It's a little bit of a shorter episode, I've realized. But we had a lot of fun in this one. I, uh, I've, I've learned some new stuff. And I'm very intrigued to keep playing this style with trying out some of the new crowns. Please let me know if you guys want me to keep on trying out these new crowns. Because I do quite enjoy them. They are pretty fun. Um, and we did unlock another gold weapon this episode, which is pretty good. Unfortunately, I didn't even make it to the throne this time around. But that is new color throne for you sometimes. I've never claimed to be good at this game. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. So, yeah. <laughs> we I don't know. We did all right. I didn't die to a little hunter. For me, that's like basically a win. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.